Good morning. I'm Julie Childress, and this is Cynthia Williams. She is my co-teacher. We teach cosmetology. This is our Cosmetology 2 class. Um, they will be demonstrating the skills that they have learned over the past year and a half. They will be working on one another today, practicing the skills that they have learned to get them ready to work in a salon using their life-ready skills. Now, today, ladies, we are going to shampoo each other's hair properly, um, and then when you are done with shampooing your client, you will bring them over to your station, and once you have them at your station, you will incor incorporate all the skills that we have learned over the past year and a half. Make sure you use safety. You are making sure that you are using your sanitation to be sure that everybody is safe, and if you have any questions, call me or Miss Williams, and we will come over and we will help you, um, and we're going to get started. Take your glasses off, sweetheart. Make sure you ask your customer, is the temperature okay? Hey ladies, remember time is money in this business, so you need to work swiftly and quickly to get your client in that chair. Yes, ma'am. when you are blow drying you're doing good make sure you don't direct it at the scalp because if you direct it at the scalp what are you going to do you're going to burn your client if you do it a little bit slower you'll get the hair straighter see there you go see how much straighter that looks When you see when you see the smoke or it looks like what is that do you know what that is is the product burning off the hair that's actually protecting the hair so that's a good thing it means if it gets too hot and you see that that means that the product is burning off instead of her hair burning so that's the purpose of the thermal protection make sense So Ms. Williams, because she has laryngitis, I'm going to explain what she's doing here. She is put a serum on the hair, and the purpose of the serum is to protect the hair and to give it shine. <laughs> Have you put a thermal protectant on her hair yet? Yep. Okay. Take your glasses off so she doesn't knock them off on accident and damage your glasses. Whenever you have a client and they have glasses, mm -hmm. make sure you ask them to remove them because if you knock them off her face and they hit the floor and they break, 
it's your responsibility to replace them, so be sure to do that. Sue is not the right word. We as cosmetologists want to keep our clients, so if something should happen, we would offer to, to pay for it, or let's say we get a stain on their shirt. It's our obligation to replace it because it's our responsibility to keep them safe, keep their items safe, and keep them the way they walk in the door. Leave it in there longer. There you go. So go a little closer to her scalp. There you go. And work it out slower. If you work it out slower, there you go. It gets straighter. Look how much straighter that looks than what it did. When you leave that heat on there longer, you get a better end result than if you just keep going through it and through it and through it you keep going through it and through it, you're putting just as much heat on it, probably twice as much heat on it, rather than just doing it one time. When that smoke's coming off and you see that, do you know what that is? What is that? The product is, the product is burning off instead of her hair burning. That's the purpose of the thermal protector, exactly. You may want to even section this off just a little bit. Like this. Hold on. Yeah, there you go. Section her off a little bit. That way, there you go. You get it a little straighter up underneath. Samantha, what are you having under your hair today? She's straightening it. And you got a thermal protectant you want to use. Go ahead and pull that stuff up. You got a thermal protectant that you would that you want to use, or do we need to get one? Alright, let me grab one. This is a um, protectant um, from Redken, it's called Pillow Proof, mm -hmm. and you just simply spray it in the hair. Um, are you going to use a mousse, or do you, what do you want to use on your hair as a styling aid? What do you generally use? Do you use anything? Okay, we're going to get a little bit of mousse. I'll go get that for you. Go ahead and comb her hair out, okay. and we're going to... Um, Blow dry without sectioning, and then we'll section. Let me see. Okay. When you see how she's off to the side, mm -hmm. you got to pull her over a little bit so she's in the center there. bottom and you work up. That will make it so much easier to work through that hair rather than if you go here. You see that just causes it to knot up. Mm -hmm. You start here and you work down with it. It comes out much, much faster, much, much easier. Okay. Let's go ahead and put this styling product. I'm going to hold the comb for you. This is just a mousse. It's a foam mousse. So we're going to put that in her hair. Start at the front. There you go. Go around the edges. Make sure you don't miss any pieces on the side. And work it all the way through. Come on. Why are you moving so slow? Because you know what, how much time you got. Okay, what are you going to do with it? 
Right. And then can't be in condition. Okay. In condition. I know. <laughs> you gotta condition her hair. You gotta just work swiftly. You can't not condition her hair. So put some pep in that step. Section this off in the smaller sections here. Mm -hmm. If you section this off, you have another clip. If you don't, it's okay. Do you not I'm have one? My bag. It's okay. I can make this work. Look. Just make it work. Now, when you do that, it's gonna dry this faster and easier, and you're more time efficient that way. Okay. Okay. Have you put a thermal protectant on her hair? Do it a little slower. There you go. Make sure you get all the way to the root there. A little slower. The, when you're putting so much heat on the hair, if you do it slower, you end up putting less heat on the hair in the long run rather than you going over it and over it and over it and over it. So it keeps the integrity of the hair. And she has nice, just wavy hair, so it's easier for you to get it good and straight quickly. See how that was so much easier to get this dry quick instead of having that whole section that you were working with? Are you ready for the next section? Okay, you go ahead, and I'll tie this back up for you. I normally do, yes. Comb those ends out so that you don't have tangles. And if you found that you get tangles, go back down below where you're at and start working your way back up. Very good. Looks nice. So what do you have to do now? I have to take this cape off her and switch the towel Why? with the neck strip. Because it's bulky and it's prevent a whole lot more. And what else? What's this oh, made of? It's made of plastic and the plastic could burn. And it could cause harm to your client by burning through the cape and burning your client. So putting the neck strip on still protects your client from be from touching the cape touching the neck and it makes it less bulky like you said so that you can work easier and then the cape goes on and this cape is made um, from vinyl um, and is heat resistant and protects your client better and what do you perceive getting ready to do now And then you're going to do what service though? You're going to curl her hair. And you're going to flat iron it first and curl mm -hmm. as you go. So a two in one process, correct? Yes. All right. I'm going to put this up for you and I'll be back. <coughs> Smile. Your client's in front of you, smile. Did you put a thermal protectant on her hair? Okay, you need to stop and let's put a thermal protectant on her hair. You got one? Okay, beautiful. We're gonna put this on too. We'll put this on top of it. So, reading the directions back here, it tells you to use a small amount because this is going to give her a shine to her hair and a thermal protectant. Make sure you get it around her hairline as well. 
and you need to section that hair off before you start just going at it with the uh, Mm-hmm. Let me get you some butterfly clips. Need to make sure that you are set up for your client before you start so that you don't have to run all over the place. So section her off so that you can blow dry more effectively and work quicker. Can I teach you something? Can I show you something? All right, for starter, well, you're left-handed, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're left-handed, so you're on the correct part, of the correct side. When you're blow drying smooth textured hair, if you, you don't have to comb it through, you can just run your fingers through it and just try to keep it in a good direction so you're smoothing down the cuticle, but you don't have to use a comb or something like this where you do it curly or textured hair, she has straight hair. So because she has straight hair, you can just run your fingers through just like this. But I'm not gonna go all over the place and just make a mess of it. I'm going to continue to run my fingers through it just to smooth the cuticle down as we go. Okay, you, go, you give it a shot. You're left-handed, so go back this way. There you go. You have to remember everything you do, you have to do opposite of the way I do it just because you're left-handed. Very good. See how much easier that is and you can get up to the scalp and get it dry much faster because time is money in this business, so you have to move as fast as you can and this is a way to cut time. Okay. Good, taking small sections, that's, that's good. You test your iron before you put it in there. So why are we testing the iron? To make sure it's going to burn too Because if it's too hot, then it's going to burn off your client's hair. So correct. If it's too hot, it'll burn off the client's hair. And we don't want it to burn off the client's hair. I'm ready to go to Good subsection. And when your client thinks that that is their hair burning and they see the smoke, what do you tell them? It's the product coming off, correct. But it's not their hair burning. That's why we put thermal protectant on the hair. Thank you for joining us today. I hope you enjoyed our life ready lesson in cosmetology. Thanks for watching. Bye.